In this video, I'll show the changes for Evergrowth Alpha 197, which you can try if you've pre-ordered. It's been a while since the last video, because I was focusing on internal work like optimization, compatibility, and refactoring. Now the game runs a lot faster on a wider range of hardware, so I can focus on gameplay again. This week I started prototyping some arena combat. In this mode, you participate in a sequence of fights, and whenever you win, your rank increases and you fight more difficult enemies. When you lose, your rank decreases and you fight less difficult enemies. The goal is to try to maintain your rank as high as you can. Since this mode is just constant fighting at your maximum skill level, with no filler, it should really help stress test the combat system to see what we can improve on. Each enemy is randomized with parameters for blocking skill, attack speed, aggressiveness, and so on. And you can tell approximately how dangerous they are by the darkness of their clothing. There's also an equivalency function between numbers and skill to add some variety to fights of a given rank. So sometimes it might be more like a boss fight with one really tough enemy, and sometimes it might be a group of weaker enemies. I'm pretty happy with this mode so far, though it still needs some difficulty calibration. Even the easiest enemies are still pretty tough. It will be interesting to try incorporating other existing features, like weapons, allies, and different character types. On the editor side, I added some new scripting features. You can now create placeholder objects, which make it easier to preview how a procedural level could work. In the arena, I use placeholders to specify where characters can appear. Also, all of the core logic for versus mode and challenge levels are now split into their own scripts, so they won't interfere with custom levels that need totally different logic, like this one. That's it for this video. If you'd like to pre-order and try the alpha for yourself, and get a free copy of our FPS game, Receiver, you can do that at wolfire.com slash pre-order. If you'd like to hear about development news as soon as it happens, you can follow me on Twitter at Wolfire.